This woman, Miss Waneka, has been hospitalized after being brutalized and sexually assaulted by um, Nigerian policemen. So even from her story, she wasn't sure if these people are real policemen or not. But this happened around 1 a.m. and it reminded me of what Ewa was saying the other day. And she was saying, what if this happens late in the night? What, what are you going to do? And I mean, see, she tried to record them and then they tried you know, to and took her from her. They, they were dragging her. To... <sighs> I mean, there is problem. Serious problem. There is because problem. it keeps getting worse every day. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I do, I, and I think I just want to use this um, opportunity to address this issue. I've, I've said it before that if we keep coming out one by one, mm -hmm. when this thing happens, that's when you come out and tell your whole story. Then you want people to help you. Mm -hmm. I don't think we will actually we'll be able to cope this thing. Yeah. I feel like we should all come out. Because one voice. Like her, yeah. I'm not sure, but correct me. I don't think she has said she, anything she ever has, on this police. She has never. I mean, head. until it keeps getting to somebody we know. Or um, you might even be the next victim yourself. I think everybody should just come out at this point. Um, um, though we're talking about um, sex for grade and all of that. Because of the awareness on social media and the way people keep pressing on it, something is working out. The lawmakers yeah, are working on they are, something. They're about to pass a bill. And I feel like if we all come together and stand as one, like in unity, we'll be able to achieve this. If we're just coming out one by one, still our own side of the, everybody knows that this thing happens every day. It happens every day to people that are not popular. Come and, on, man, yeah. I mean, if we keep telling our stories, nothing will be done. I feel it's until when we come together and we stand together in one voice to say no to this police brutality, mm. that's when we'll be able to achieve something. I'm sure if I agree with that. Revolution. <laughs> 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 Please, oh. Reformation now. <laughs> Before they come and carry me and say, you have to join Shuwere. I'm being, um, a it's a treasonable act. But um, I agree with everything Ewa said. I think um, this is the time where we all have to come together. I think when the SARS brutality was really rampant, mm. which, it, of course, it has reduced, but right. it is still... Uh, yeah, it has definitely. No, there was a period so. when... If, if these people can behave the way this lady has narrated, then I don't think any... It's getting worse. No, I said the SARS brutality. I'm talking about I think SARS. We need to, I, I get what you're saying. You know the I think SARS we thing. Stop, we need to stop differentiating these people. SARS, because yeah, because they're all, yeah, they're, they're just different, um, what's it called? Under the same yeah, Nigerian The same force. umbrella, but they're, they're different department. But, okay, like you said, okay, don't let me put SARS aside and put the Nigerian police. So I think let's just face the Nigerian police force. If it's about the Nigerian, obviously, we have stories every day, even from your common man that mm -hmm. we don't hear their stories, right? But I was going to make reference to the SARS, but I, when the SARS thing was so crazy and a lot of celebrities stood up, yeah, I think he actually copped it, it yeah. a bit. Mm, so yeah. right now, I think this is the right time for everybody to stand up again and to ask for police reformation. Mm. Do you understand? Not just SARS, not just, just the reformation of the police force. Thank you very much.